But if you want to get, but if you want to get all the reporters on the same side in terms of opinion, the opinion is always towards access and openness. Right. right. I mean, you, you you'll get you'll get a more aggravated response if it's something where you feel someone's obfuscating or you feel someone is, you know, well, I'm not going to release this or, or, you know, like the frustration of dealing with a, a grand jury investigation and a secret house ethics panel where you're like, you know, you. I don't know what's going on with those things. I mean, I, 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 I'm pumping them for as much information as I can get, but you're, you're getting little bits and pieces. So, I mean, that's a place where it's not an opinion that I'm saying, well, he's guilty. It's an opinion where I'm saying, I want more information, right. and so do, my, so do my readers. I cut right, right off. I cut right off. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I didn't get to your questions. But I think that there's also mm -hmm. a, a responsibility that we have as journalists and people that, I think that you have to understand that the world that you live in is very different than the world that the vast majority of our readers and viewers live in. Mm -hmm. That you guys consume this, you take it in the vein, you know every single minutia detail that happens throughout the course of a campaign. And I feel, particularly with television, my television audience that reads my blog, that a lot of times context is required. So if a, if a, if a, news, a, piece, a, new, a piece of news breaks, or there's information that's out there, Sometimes you can't just allow that to sit on its own because there are all these uh, interesting factors that led up to this point. Could that sometimes be described as analysis because, and it's exactly the point that Anita was making, there are certain things that I'm going to choose to also provide my, my readers and my viewers with to get them to this point? Perhaps, but I, I, I don't necessarily think it's opinion if it's all based in the facts that you're presenting. And I think that context is a really important part of our responsibility as journalists because, you know, my readers and my viewers come to me, you know, periodically. They don't not necessarily logging on every day and reading, but there might be a certain story that interests them more that they're going to come to me for, and there's other things that they haven't uh, been caught up on. And I, every time I write a story, I'm like, you know, I know everything about this, but is the person that's reading this know every single thing about this? And I think that's one of the responsibilities that I have. I want to make it so that my mom in North Carolina reads it and has can fill in all the blanks that are necessary. Well, it strikes me that, that perhaps a simple way to kind of make the differentiation is that evaluations are made all the time. What we all, I think, try not to do is cheerlead. Right? And, I, th and I, think, I think that's the difference if we're kind of parsing the question of where is the line of opinion. I think it's we're not cheering for one side or the other we're trying to target each side equally, but we, we do make, as Anita said, news judgments, we do make evaluations. Brian, since you asked the question, um, uh, a blog post I did that, that you commented on comes to mind. Um, I think it was the, the Claris poll, and I think at one point I had said, it's worth noting um, that this poll uh, samples samples voters uh, or something like that, and you, you had commented saying, you know, registered voters versus likely voters. Now, in my mind, um, when I had written about the horse race polls that dealt with likely voters, I said likely voters. In that case, I said voters didn't include the word registered because to me, in my mind, I'm thinking that's an evaluation. I'm thinking, okay, that's a distinction that I see because I said likely voters in this one, just voters as opposed to adding the registered in front of it. To me, that made a distinction, but from your, apparently from your perception, it didn't make a distinction. So that's, that's another example of an evaluation that I'm making that, to me, is perhaps clear in my head, but to the outside person who has not said, you know, is tracking every, every little bit, every incremental development, you know, the lack of that word may appear or be perceived as one thing when, in my mind, there is a distinction, and, and in your mind, apparently, you know, the distinction wasn't made strongly enough. So, you know, that, that's, that's the kind of thing. To me, that's an evaluation. That's not me saying, you know, oh, I'm pulling for Bob or oh, I'm pulling for Deeds. You know, that's just an evaluation. Brian, you had a question. Can you put your hand down? Okay, then we'll No, no, no. I, I, I was going to ask the exact same question. Oh, okay. Yes. That's the problem but, with Brian and I. Well, and, and <laughs> <laughs> just that the internet and There's only the quickness of, of posting these things almost makes the the scrubbing for bias and opinion almost impossible that would happen with a news story. And as as mainstream news writers become quasi-blogger columnists, um, it's it's really tough to take the hat off and on. And I was wondering if, if they, and, and Julian seems to have his finger on the problems that can create 
too, because what is there, there aren't there are block there are things you'll post on the blog that you never send your news out. Well, wait a minute. There's tons of things that I would post on the blog. Most everything that we post on the blog would never make the newspaper. The, the, the bar is high at the Washington Post to get Virginia politics. I mean, it has to be a big story about a theme or some other, yeah. you know, a big event. Or it, video it, in Southwest it, Virginia. It can't be. <laughs> that's not, that's not uh, editorial. That's more for space. So, right, right, for space. I mean, it's our paper is smaller. We have, you know, yeah. right. So, you know, when there's daily news about things on the campaign trail, we don't write about it. If I don't want, if the place we write about is the blog, but what I was going to say is, clearly you will disagree, but the standards uh, that apply are the same, meaning uh, Bob McDonald releases a policy proposal on blank. I'm going to write about it. I have to get the deeds reaction. I wrote about Eric Cantor the other day in a in a negative way that the Democrats were saying something. I had to call Eric Cantor. Why are you looking at me? I didn't do anything. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> the I don't write about Eric Cantor. Journalistic <laughs> standards are the same in terms of... Well, you said uh, yourself, they're a little more snarky, you're a little more personality. She didn't say snarky. I did say snarky, but I said, but that's not opinion. That's, I mean, this, how can I say this? The Attitude. journalistic standards are the same. They're just too small of items to get in the newspaper. I mean, we'd never put them in there because we don't have the space for all that. You back there and then this one up here.